All right, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be retesting the Cerakote Rapid Ceramic product. Now today, we're going to be testing it against two other products, one of them being my beloved ceramic detail spray from Technician's Choice. The reason I love that product so much, super, super easy to apply and really, really cost effective when you buy it in the five gallon jug. And the next product that we're gonna be testing it against is the Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax, the sprayable version to see how that works. I've done a review on that product in the past. I really, really like it. Not as easy to apply as uh, the Technician's Choice is or the Cerakote, because the Cerakote did go on very nicely, but the protection was pretty good. So I really like that stuff. Um, so let's get into the testing. All right guys, so it's actually 24 hours later. I have my panel here. What I did was I took three squares. Let me grab my phone so, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see this. But basically what I did is I applied the Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax right here in this little square, Cerakote right in the middle, and Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray over here on the side. I did that and then I removed the tape so they're nice definitive rectangles. So here we are guys. As you can see, the three different rectangles that I applied. Definitely you can see the outline for the Technician's Choice, the Cerakote, and the Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax. Now one of the things that the Cerakote actually advertises, they do advertise gloss enhancement, which I absolutely see on this panel. The other two are also achieving some gloss enhancement, but the Cerakote is significantly more. When I originally did my first test, it was on a white panel, and I could see it, it looked shinier than the side I didn't apply it to, but here we can really see a difference in depth, and it almost seems like it's kind of filling in some of the scratches. One thing I will say is the Cerakote does not list a longevity to it. They just say, this isn't a traditional full-blown ceramic, but it will last many, many washes is what they say. Extreme hydrophobic properties and gloss enhancement. So for the gloss, gloss enhancement, guys, I'm gonna pull you in close uh, with a light. So you can see here, so this is the turtle wax, and you can see from there to there, it's darker, right? And, and disregard those, that's just the tape line, that'll wash off after our first test here, but uh, so there you go. Gloss enhancement from the Turtle Wax. Next one is the Cerakote. And it definitely looks darker. It almost looks like I took another pass with the polisher and, and removed some more swirls. Uh, obviously they're still there, but in comparison to here, significantly better, right? Significantly. And then we'll move over to the Technician's Choice. And again, you can just see all the haze and everything. Again, I prepped this um, panel. I used Meguiar's M110 on a softer cutting pad just to get it cleaned so that it was gonna be uh, completely flat, no protection on it. And then I wiped it down with a panel uh, uh, prep. So there's no protection on this thing, but as you can see, guys, just as far as gloss enhancement goes, Cerakote for me is definitely the winner on this. And I'll just pan across this way as well. It just adds a bit more clarity than the other two. We'll keep an eye on that though as we're testing it and just keep an eye out to see if that changes down the road. But as of right now, clarity is definitely best with the Cerakote product. So like I said, it's actually been 24 hours since I installed these. The reason it's been 24 hours, Cerakote only uh, requires two hour cure time. Technician's choice, usually none. But the Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax uh, does state to do a 24 hour cure time. Now they also say that you can apply two coats and then let it cure for 24 hours to build it up. Um, but all three of these just got one coat and then 24 hours to cure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this outside. We're gonna get some water on this panel. We'll test the hydrophobic properties of it just as is right out of the box, right after being installed. Then I will be going through and applying some products to it to try and beat it up and break it down. The typical torture test, right? So what we're gonna be using to do that to try and break down the products and see which one lasts long Again, I don't really like doing it this way, but the whole reason I am doing this is because the initial test that I did on my white work van, I noticed after about a week and a half, it had rained on it and all that kind of stuff, and I was looking, and the side that I had the Cerakote on was looking significantly better than the side I didn't. Even the section in the middle that had the protein shake on top of it, um, that side was looking better, much better than the side that wasn't coated at all. So. I wanted to do this just to kind of get a, a, a live effect. So the first product we're gonna to use to beat it up is 3D Products Orange Degreaser. Then we're gonna switch over to the Turtle Wax Bug and Tar Remover. And finally, we're just gonna go straight super clean and see if that, that breaks it down, see which one kind of holds up the best to these products. Now guys, I do wanna mention that Cerakote actually did reach out to me. They actually invited me up to their facility um, and I'm gonna be going up there next week. They were like, hey, we appreciate you doing all the reviews on our products. We really, you know, we're happy that you like our trim coat. I love that stuff, it's right here. Um, Cerakote trim coat, fantastic product. 
The first test that I did with this product, I just used muscle milk, right? Protein shake, and it broke it down immediately. It just, there was no more water sheeting, no more water beating, it just went flat. They reached out and they said, hey, we spoke to our chemist because we have tested this at our facility on our own and this has never happened. We talked to the chemist and he thinks that it's because there's an organic protein material on it. And then when I wiped the whole surface down, I used a higher pH soap and, and they're like, he thinks that that probably didn't completely break it down. All that really did was spread it around and that's why we had that effect. So to be fair guys, I wanna test it again and I wanna put it up to some other ones. Obviously I love uh, Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray and that Turtle Wax Graphene product is fantastic as well. Now when we're talking about application, Technician's Choice was the easiest, Cerakote was pretty much equally uh, as easy, like very, very easy to apply, flashes right out. The Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax ha seems to go on a little bit thicker and left a little bit of streak. You just have to make sure to get the streaks out, but still relatively easy. Um, but as far as ease goes, Cerakote and uh, Technician's Choice were the winners on that. But let's go ahead and start beating this stuff up. Okay guys, so here's the panel. I have it tilted, so it's not exactly flat and it's not exactly vertical. It's just got a nice slope to it. So we're gonna start off by just doing, like I said, the hydrophobic test. I'm gonna spray it uh, with the hose and try and just do some water beating. And then I'll do a sheeting test where I pull it across and see how it flashes out. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll get testing. Okay guys, here we go. I've got the water ready and uh, beating test. Everything looks pretty equal. You can probably see some definitive areas here. The Cerakote seems to be fighting off the most. Technician's Choice has small beads, but this is actually beading and sheeting. And then t uh, the Turtle Wax is right in between those two. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a sheeting test. So that's Turtle Wax. Flashes off really nicely. Let me watch that again. Boom, flashes off really fast. Cerakote. Boom really fast as well. Let me do that again. Yeah, there you go. Let me let me do it right in the middle. So we'll start here. Turtle wax, no problem. Cerakote, no problem. And Technician's Choice, a little bit slower, but still no problem. Now, as you guys can see, when you just put the water directly on the surface of the Cerakote, let it go, pull it off, and it flashes right off. You can see that, that rectangle right away. Turtle Wax is doing the same thing. Same deal, really, really fast. Really fast, let's see the Cerakote again. Yep, equally fast, and the Technician's Choice, slower. Doing a good job, but it is slower. Okay guys, now to go ahead and start beating this up. Like I said, first one we're gonna be using 3D orange degreaser. Go ahead and open up the trigger. I'm just gonna spray it on the panel and see what it, uh, see what it does. So, interestingly enough guys, here I, I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked. Let me zoom you in. You can see the two panels here, the graphene uh, flux wax from Turtle Wax and the Cerakote fighting it off. You can see some water beating and all that fighting that product off. The Technician's Choice is laying underneath that. It's not fighting it off. There's a couple little spots, but not nearly the same as these. I'm gonna go ahead and rub this in now with a uh, microfiber towel just to spread it around. And then we'll go ahead and rinse it off. You can definitely see all three of them are still working now. Now that I'm going to rinse it off, they're still there for sure. But I'm gonna continually rinse this off and get that, all that product off so we're not having any contamination from it. Yeah, we're looking pretty good there. I'm just gonna hit it again with the microfiber now just to wipe up any residual residue. Rinse again. Turtle wax, sheeting, right? Still took it off pretty quickly, not as quick as it was before. Cerakote, similar result there. Uh, as you can see though, as I was spraying this one, the turtle wax is looking pretty good, fighting it off. And then we'll, if we do the same here with the Cerakote, it's a similar situation. So, uh, and then 
technician's choice. Still there, sheeting water off very, very well. Let's go ahead and go again. Let's do a uh, beading test again. All looking equally good on the beading. And we'll go again for the sheeting. Turtle wax, Cerakote, and Technician's Choice. So in my opinion, the Turtle Wax Graphene is looking to be the best right now. Just it's leaving a little bit more, uh, a little bit faster sheeting to me. Um, when you go across and do a bead test, they all look really good. Uh, but it's definitely for me, Turtle Wax first right now, Cerakote second. Uh, and the technician's choice is in third place. Let's go ahead and move on to the bug and tar remover, spray that on. And we'll take a look at that as well and see if that's gonna be doing the same thing with these two where you could see it fighting off. We're gonna let that sit for a minute or two just to see, cause right now I don't see any difference between any of them. They're all pretty flat, right? So let's just see if it starts to wanna fight it off. Um, honestly, they all look like they're performing the exact same, which looks like they're not really doing anything currently. Uh, let me go ahead and rub that in. I'm gonna grab a different towel so we don't have any cross contamination. Let me fold this one up. This stuff is thick though, this uh, bug and tire remover. So it is very, very aggressive on this currently. Let's just go ahead and wipe it up. Let me go ahead and rinse it off and then I'll wipe it again. Yeah, you can see this stuff is just sticking on, so. Go ahead and wipe that up again. I've actually never used this bug and tar remover from Turtle Wax, and uh, it's pretty aggressive. It seems to really cling onto the panel. Spray it down again. So as of right now, they're all a bit dead. I'm actually gonna grab a uh, panel prep product just to make sure that there's not any residual kind of leftover residue from that tar and bug, bug and tar remover. Spray that on there, we'll wipe that off, try and clean off the surface because we may have that water reacting now to the coating is here. That bug and tar remover still may be sitting on top of that and the water's reacting to that as opposed to the ceramic. So let's do that. And in order to do that, I'm going to be using Duraslick's uh, glass and panel, glass prep and panel wipe. This stuff is phenomenal for getting your coatings ready. I really, really like this product. We go ahead and spray it on. I'm gonna rub this in, or not rub it in, but you know, try and rub it off, I guess. To remove any of that leftover bug and tar remover. Okay, it's feeling slick again. I don't know if that's actually gonna be a difference or not, but let's go ahead and see. That looks like all of them are flat, regardless of anything. Uh, let's do a beating test again. Yeah, everything's flat. Well, you can see they're still fighting it off here slightly, right? As you get lower where it wasn't coated, it's moving much, much slower. Now I would say they're pretty much dead, but just to be, you know, air on the side of caution, let's go ahead and use super clean on it and see if that does anything. If it brings it back, maybe there was still a layer of other stuff on there. Let's see, so here we go. And this is super clean, just straight out of the bottle, guys. I didn't dilute it at all, just straight out of the bottle. Pretty equal, I'd say, across the board. Let me zoom you guys in again for that. Yeah, not much difference anywhere. I'm gonna grab a towel again and rub this product around and see if we're getting any sort of hydrophobic properties left over still from, uh, from the coatings. Or spray coatings, I don't wanna call them full blown coatings, obviously, but. Yeah, we're flat. 
completely flat. So there you have it guys, all three are dead. Um, I would say the first one to fail was probably the technician's choice. It just, or not completely fail, it was still there working. It just lost its really fast hydrophobic properties faster than the others. However, I would still say that technician's choice is super, super price effective, especially when you buy it in the five gallon jugs like I do. Your cost per ounce is, uh, it, it's so low that it, I love that product because it's so easy to apply and doesn't cost a lot of money. The Cerico and the Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax. Uh, both seem to hold up about the same amount of time. Um, the slight nod might go to the Turtle Wax. I, hard to tell there, really. But as far as gloss enhancement goes, the Cerakote was significantly better than both of them. Uh, like gloss enhancement really, you could really tell the difference with that product. Um, so that's really cool. And then ease to apply. The Cerakote is just as easy to apply as the ceramic detail spray from Texas's Choice. So the Turtle Wax is a little bit more work, but still not bad. So with that said, overall guys, which one would I go with? It's still up in the air for me, to be perfectly honest. The Turtle Wax seems to maybe last a little bit longer than the Cerakote, but it's hard because they pretty much all went flat at about the same time. It looks like that one would still have a little bit of life, but pretty much the same amount of time. Uh, the Cerakote, really easy to apply. You can easily apply it after every wash. They actually say it's stackable, meaning you can put layer upon layer and increase the gloss enhancement, increase, increase the protection. Um, so with that said, the Cerakote's a fantastic product. It lasted longer than the Technician's Choice and it is uh, equally as easy to put on. So I'll leave that up to you guys. I'm excited to be going up to Cerakote's uh, facilities. They're gonna walk me around. Again, Cerakote doesn't release a ton of products. They're not a full-blown detail company, right? They seem to target specific products and just make them as best they can. Their trim coat is fantastic. Their headlight restoration product is fantastic. They have, a, a, I guess, a revamp of a window coating that's coming out. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty good. This Rapid Ceramic is a lot, a lot better than I initially had thought with that my first test. So keep that in mind and please make sure to subscribe to the channel because like I said, I'm gonna be going up there. They're gonna be doing a test for me live there, I believe, uh, testing out the, uh, the Cerakote Rapid Ceramic versus some other products on their panel so we can see how they're testing it um, and uh, go from there. So that's it for today's video. I appreciate all of you. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.